Deckers, Liam here. There is a new update to Proton Experimental with some pretty sweet fixes. If you already have it downloaded, it will show up as a normal download in your Steam library. If not, you can search for it like any other game and then go and download it there. This version of Proton is used by default for some games, otherwise you need to manually switch it over. You can do that in the properties menu of any game and then inside the compatibility section, tick the box and select Proton Experimental from the drop down. So a quick run over what's actually changed for you. And as a reminder, Proton is also used on desktop Linux, not just the Steam Deck. This time around, they're noting that newly playable games are Nin Nin Days 2 and King Under the Mountain. For bug fixes, they have fixed Halo Infinite not starting after a recent game update, fixed Halo Infinite hanging at multiplayer match start when the game window is not focused, fixed friend invite to fireteam lobby not working in Halo Infinite, fixed Spyro reignited trilogy playing intro videos in the wrong language, a wrong spelling here, but they fixed Septeracore hanging on redistributables installation. They fixed Microsoft Flight Simulator not starting after a recent game update. A fix for multiple languages not rendering correctly in Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. They fixed Korean not being rendered correctly in Romance of the Three Kingdoms 13 launcher. Fixed multiple monitor sports in Project Cars 2. Fixed Microsoft Flight Simulator not displaying live traffic. And finally, they fixed Microsoft Flight Simulator crashing when starting next to big cities. So with these updates, let's see how easy Halo Infinite will actually run now on the Steam Deck, shall we? Loading it up here on one of my Steam Decks, it loads up just fine, although the initial load is a little bit on the long side, so I'm speeding that up and cutting out bits. If you missed it though, Infinite recently had a huge winter update that added online co-op for the campaign and added a beta of the Forge mode. That said, it still hasn't really managed to boost the player numbers all that much. It did see a spike to around 12,000 people on the day the update went out, but the numbers now are just continuing to drop day by day. For those of you that do enjoy it though, thankfully now, as you can see, it does work fine. Although a little bit of the screen at the bottom is actually cut off. Not a whole lot, but a small amount. And it does at least perform well enough when playing online with the settings that I'm showing you on the screen here. That's it for the Proton Experimental update today. More to come. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you later.